it's obvious from my stance that obviously I do not think that um, you know man can be reduced to the to his animal status. But I do not deny, of course, that um, there are profound similarities. I mean, and for example, some of the things that Professor Raymond Tellus believes and other people who have spoken earlier, Eric Olson, I believe, I didn't attend that, but the notion that we have much in common with the animals in a biological sense uh, is certainly something that I think needs to be taken seriously because if one were to dismiss the findings of the enlightenment about the origins of our species, that would be unscientific and uh, intellectually arrogant. Nonetheless, I do not ultimately believe in the simian origins of the human race. Uh, I do believe that it was, um, it was an act of creative will by a supreme mind. And I admit that this sort of view is very difficult to prove because nature, natural objects and so on are ambivalent they can sustain a purely naturalistic explanation of how the world is or how it came about or how it appears to us. You can have an intimate knowledge of nature, be a great poet, for example, or have an aesthetic appreciation and not be a believer. This seems odd because when you look at the scriptures, the heavens declare the glory of God and the Quran has the same view that the signs of God are evident in nature and only those who are, who are perverted in some way deny them. I think in the modern world that doesn't seem to be true we can have perfectly conscientious atheists. It's a bit of a puzzle, I think, theologically, why that's possible, but I don't deny the empirical reality that it is possible. However, I think it's a bad thing, and that's the burden of my talk. I think that uh, there are very good reasons why we, we should not think of secular humanism as the terminus of human society, because it would imply that someone like Richard Dawkins is the supreme apex of human creation. <laughs> and I believe that Richard Dawkins' motto is that there is no God, but I'm his prophet. Ha, <laughs>